I'ma soon forget it. So far between the lines, I'ma write a new set, a new beginning. Reflecting on the times that were that hard. I've fallen down many times, but I got mad hard. Uh, you see, I'm in it to win it. All right, YouTube, we're back. We're a real quick video. I'm gonna make this real quick. Um, Mexican Leaves Therapy Garage. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Let your boy know what you think about the videos um, and the progress of the car. The frame is covered up right now. The frame is pretty much done. I got the brake lines on. I got the um, emergency brake kit line installed. All the brakes on it are installed all the way around. Um, let me turn this around real quick. But it is covered up because I don't want any more dust or anything to get on it while I'm cleaning this up so I can get it ready for bed liner. Like I told you guys before, I had already did my floors. I already sectioned the back half and the front half of the floors, put those in, and I shot bed liner under there, but I couldn't get where the frame was at, under you know, within the frame rails, all the way across. And I didn't do the back, because I had the gas tank on the car at the time, <clears throat> and all the rear suspension and all that, so I stopped right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything up all the way through, all the way around, clean up the edges where the, the bed liner didn't stick right here. Um, I gotta fix these holes that I had to drill in my pans when I had uh, water that sat in the car for a while when it was sitting outside the shop. Um, everything's power washed and cleaned under here. So I got the power washer out and I was able to get a lot of the original undercoating that was in here off. There's still specks here and there that I gotta hit but I'll do that with the wire wheel and the DA. A um, little bit of it flaked off right here. So I'm gonna clean that edge up, spot spray it, and then the floors will be done. Uh, let me bring you around here to the firewall. I had already done the firewall too with some cheap, that Duplicolor spray bomb uh, bed liner. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this off, wire wheel it, get it all cleaned up, do the body work on it where I shave the uh, the heater housing, the heater box, took all that out because I have a um, aftermarket AC system that I'm putting in here for my old air products. So that, I think all this is gonna be black. I don't think I'm gonna paint it green to match the car. Um, up here, I did put some bed liner up here, but I'm gonna sand all this off too because I ended up having to cut this whole top section off because underneath, as you can see, there's bed liner in there. I ended up having to repair this panel under here because there was like an air vent that went in there with the screen to get fresh air through in, inside the car. I sealed all that up because it was rusted out and I couldn't find a replacement piece anywhere. Um, guys were trying to get me to buy the whole body in order just to get that piece. So I took all the spot welds off of all this and I cut it. Let me see if I can remember. I think I cut it like right here. I know maybe right here I might have cut it right here I can't remember but anyways I cut I sectioned it and I got pictures somewhere but I sectioned this whole piece off it came off in two pieces and then I got I was able to make a pan fit inside here welded it in sealed it all up and then I put that shit on there bed liner but it came out nice came out real clean um, sealed up didn't have no leaks when I poured water inside here I let water run in there for a while and there was nothing, no leaks that came inside the car. <clears throat> so let's see if you can see underneath there. But that's the section that I cut out and welded my own, I made my own plate and welded that in there. So that'll get all undercoated and cleaned once I get all this section ready for, uh, you know, after the body's ready to get work back on. But I power washed it out pretty good. It had a lot of rat poop and stuff in there. So urine from the rats took all that crap out of there. So the body's now ready for me to start cleaning and prepping, getting the belly uh, shot with undercoating. And um, once all that's done and complete with the firewall, I may, I think I am gonna go ahead and set the motor and transmission in the car, in the frame and then set the body back on but i'll tape all that up because i want all that done and complete i'll tape it all up i don't care about tape, taping and masking i love doing that so 
I'll get it all taped up and covered up real nice and then start doing my body work. I'm gonna take all this old primer back off, all the old body work back off, and I'm gonna redo it all. So the doors I never did, the hood I never did, I got the hood up here, a um, few other parts, uh, everything, all the parts, shit, really, to this car. I bought so many, so many parts for this car back when I was first starting to work on it. Uh, door seals, trunk seal kit, all that crap. So um, what I'm working on is these wheels. Okay, like I told you guys before, the Evapor Rust, man, I love it. I soaked this rim in it overnight. And I had to come out and spin it today before I went into work. So it was rusty all the way around. And I was trying to hit it with paint stripper to get this paint or I don't know what this is. Powder coating, I don't know what it is, but it, did, it barely touched it. So I'm going to hit it with my wire wheels. I went to Harbor Freight and bought a bunch of... Um, wire wheels but it took a lot of the rust off surface rust that was on this rim as you can see there's still a little bit in there but you can see the lines where the evapor rust cleaned it up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come back with my wire wheels and i'm gonna hit it real good um get it cleaned up and then i'm gonna sandblast some of the areas that i couldn't get with the wire wheel which i did on this wheel it's soaking now but Yesterday I worked on it for a couple hours and I hit it as much as I could. This one was pitted real bad in here on both sides. So I got all that out. But she's soaking now. So it's going to remove whatever rust is in there off. I got to go actually pick up some more. It's five gallon buckets, like a hundred bucks. So <clears throat> I'm going to try to order another one in the morning. That way I can fill that up pretty high. Once I'm, it's reusable too. So once it's done, once I'm done soaking all my parts, I'll pour it right back in the five gallon buckets, whatever I got left. It's evaporating somehow. I guess it evaporust. That shit evaporates in the air. So um, these are the other two wheels that I'm working on. The insides aren't too bad. This one and this one, this one's really, really decent. Um, but it's the backs that is the reason why I put the evapor rust in there or soaking them in the evapor rust because I want that off. The wire wheel took it off real fast, real easy. So there's no holes. It's not dry, it's not thin. It's not rotted. It's just surface rust. The other one's kind of like that too on the back side. So <clears throat> my spare isn't in that bad a condition either. So they're going to be easy. It's going to take a little bit more time rather than me sending them to somebody to sandblast. I could probably get that done faster um, with less headache, but at the same time, save me a couple bucks. I can put that money into something else. Um, so I just wanted to real quick make this video just to kind of show you guys what I'm doing as far as my wheels. And these are the wheels, the wire wheels that I'm using. I got a DeWalt one here. A uh, bunch of Harbor Freight, cheap ones, another DeWalt. So it's just different things that I'm using to, a little arsenal that I have just trying to get this thing cleaned up the best I can. They're not going to be perfect. I don't really care. But I wasn't about to pay no five, six hundred dollars just to get them powder coated. $125, $130 to get them sandblasted. <clears throat> That's the case. I might as well buy a whole new set of wheels. I still got to um, find the center rings, but I got the center caps, two different styles. So I got some center rings over here. One of them's broke. I got three of them that are good. So maybe I'll just need to find one, but I'm gonna buy extras just in case for backups. But <clears throat> that's what I got going on right now. So I worked out here for about a good hour after I got out of work. Um, hit, hit this one with the wire wheels and some sandblasting. Took this one out of the wrapper rust from soaking. Rinsed it off real good with some water. So I'm going to leave that set overnight. I'll hit it tomorrow once I get out of work. And um, get him cleaned up. Then by tomorrow, this one should be ready. Totally de-rusted. And then we'll rinse it off real good. Blow it off with air. Get all the moisture out of it. And then I'll set it to the side. Get this one soaking probably one more time. If not, that one will be done. I'll dip another rim in there and get it ready. 
So, <clears throat> you a quick heads up on what I was doing. Um, this is my next step. So like I said, the frame is pretty much done. I don't really have anything more to do on the frame. Set the motor in it. Um, I'll make a video doing that with the transmission. The um, drive shaft, I'll get that bolted in. Everything will be set that way. Um, what else do I have left on the frame? I mean, as far as that, the drivetrain. I could put the drivetrain in. Oh, I may go ahead and probably do the exhaust too. Weld up my exhaust, get it all mounted up, have that set and done. That way, like I said, all I have to do is set the body on it, do my body work, and I'm ready to go. So, again, um, I little too, man. My dad made me almost bust my head on it. Um, I think that's all for tonight. We'll uh, cut you back on. Once I get the rims pretty much done, I, I may show you the process what I'm doing, but it's simple. I'm just hitting it with the quarter inch, the, the four and a half inch grinder with the wire wheels on it, getting all the stuff off of it, and I'm gonna paint them. So I may not put that on video, but I'll, do, I'll show you the after, you know, once I'm done, the, the process after I finish. Then I'll uh, go and do a quick um, overview of the frame and what I got going on with that as far as the brake lines and stuff like that already done, um, cleaned up, painted, installed. Um, I think that's it. So thanks again for tuning in, um, and I'll get you guys set up again for the next video. Thanks. Bye. I'ma soon forget it. So far between the lines, I'ma write a new set, a new beginning. Reflecting on the times that were that hard. I've fallen down many times, but I got mad hard. Uh, you see, I'm in it to win it.